Hey Dollykins! Today I'm going to be doing a review, my own personal unsponsored review of Rainbow High Dolls. I think that they're really cute. They started picking up momentum for me because I saw them on Reddit and I was like, oh okay, these are really adorable. So the first one I got was Poppy. Um, I buy them all new in box because I want all their accessories. And even though she's not wearing everything right now, it's just because I was playing around with her outfit and her hair before I did this. Now everyone knows I'm like a blue fiend, and I did get Skylar and Ruby today. But I ordered Poppy first simply because I loved the butterfly accents on her clothes and her hair, and I would absolutely wear those. And she even has these really amazing monarch butterfly high-heeled knee-high boots. Like, these dolls are just so cute! Ah! I love it. So, what we got today is I ordered Ruby and Skylar. Um, I've been spoiling myself because life is short, and one day we're all gonna be dead. So, we may as well enjoy the time that we have. <laughs> and everyone knows I'm a doll fiend, so, yeah. That's really cool to me. Um, when they come out of the package, their hair is really crunchy, because of hair products, which is a well-known fact with a lot of doll lines. So I just washed them, and I did Poppy's hair last night because she arrived yesterday, and it's a lot nicer now. There's no more gel, there's no more product. Um, I braided it just because she looks kind of cute and hippie-ish, and I love her for her freckles because that's adorable. They have inset, I think these are glass eyes, hand-applied eyelashes, She's got the cat eye um, eyeliner going on. Some of the girls have glitter in their eyeshadow. Some of them don't. It doesn't look like Poppy does, but she does have an iridescent glow to her with, like, gold flecks. It's really, really pretty. And from this angle, they almost look like LOL OMG dolls, right? You can kind of see it. I guess because they're both MGA. But these dolls are way more articulated. You can do more with them. Um, I kind of like them a little bit better. <laughs> I didn't think that I was going to. Like, I saw them and I was like, oh, these are kind of cute. But I just kept seeing them all over the place. And I was like, oh, man. I'm starting to get rainbow fever, I think. So, <laughs> so what we have here today is her friend, Ruby, who is so cute. And her hair reminds me of a doll. I had back in the 90s when I was little, but I can't place who it is that I'm thinking of. I'm not sure if it's like a mix of uh, Strawberry Shortcake and Ariel, but cool. I have no idea, but she definitely puts me in mind of a doll I have when I was younger. I just can't place who it is, so I'm going to debox her and then Skylar ah, because I love blue. So let me pause this because box openings are cool to a degree, but I don't like the noise it makes when you gotta like cut them out. Okay, so I'll be right back. Hey, I figured I might as well also show you the kind of um, ties that you're going to be dealing with um, if you purchase these and you aren't aware of it yet. We have plastic ties around her wrist that are real bitches to cut off. Um, plastic around her waist, around her ankles, and then in the back... <laughs> look at all this oh my goodness I don't know why they do this I think someone once said that it was because of the display of the doll but I mean you can put her in there with just like one tie around her waist and it'll be fine but what is the point of all this it ruins their hair it's annoying it's messy it takes too long but anyway I'm gonna resume and I'll be back momentarily okay so I deboxed Ruby and Skylar and look how pretty these girls are. I can't stand how cute these dolls are. Like, I legit thought, oh, well, they're cute, but I'm not really into them. But that was the same thing I said about um, the OMG dolls, and then I started collecting those. I only have a few of them. I kind of prefer these better, like I said before. Um, they are fully articulated, I think except for at the ankle, but that's fine because... Who cares? <laughs> you get this fantastic looking, beautiful, well-made, heavy, beautiful makeup doll for $25 and change. I got them on Amazon. 
And on eBay, they're actually charging more. And usually I'm an eBay whore, but not this time. <laughs> Plus, um, Amazon, you get to pay for shipping in like a day or two. And I paid $12 to get both of these girls delivered to me the day after I ordered them. So I think $12 is worth it. That's fine with me. Now, even though I love my Poppy, because I like her butterfly theme, we all know who my favorite is. That's why I keep zooming in on her. <laughs> Look at her hair. She is fantastic. She looks like a mermaid. Oh, I love it. The only thing, like I said, is I hate these crunchy curls. What were they thinking? <laughs> but other than that, I can't. Look at her. So we've got silver shoes that say blue on them, as if we didn't know that. <laughs> She's wearing a jean skirt, a rainbow belt. Well, it says rainbow, but it's clear, which is funny. <laughs> um, the bigger version of these dolls are called Rainbow Surprise, and I love the bigger one. I forget their names, so forgive me, because I... I'm still new to this line, but I love them, and I think they're super cute, <laughs> and I like the fact that Skylar is so clear and light in other ways, and then darker in different, you know what I'm saying? Like, her skin is dark, but her hair is, like, really light, so she's, like, a beautiful balance of both, just like the sky is, I mean, and I don't know, let's see, can you guys see? Ugh. Let's oh, yeah, there we go. You can see the shimmer of the makeup that they did on them. They, they airbrushed them perfectly. I am feeling her shoes really bad. I would probably wear these. Um, I just, I don't know, I love blue. And then we have Ruby, who definitely puts me in mind of one of my dolls when I was younger, but God forbid, I cannot remember the name of that character. I don't even know which one it is specifically that I'm thinking of. But I, I kind of have a suspicion that it was my 90s Ariel doll simply because her hair is so Ariel-esque. <laughs> and if they didn't already have names, I would absolutely name her Ariel in honor of my favorite princess. So, we have this stunning beauty right here. All of their eyes, as you can tell, are glass inset. And what I like is poppies are like this purple on top, blue on the bottom. Rubies are like pink and purple. Skies. Oh, Skylar is so cute. Hers are all shades of blue. <laughs> um, I love her outfit a lot, actually. This is also why I chose her, because her color just stood out to me so much. There were three more that I need to get. I need to get Violet, Jade, and um, Sunny. And I'm probably going to get them next week, because I'm kind of addicted her hat is sewn onto her head, but I'm sure if you wanted to remove it, you could take it off. But I, I'm going to leave it as it is. Just like I'm leaving Poppy's rainbow. I mean, um, butterflies in her hair. Um, Skylar did not come with any hair accessory, but that's fine also because she's beautiful. She doesn't need it. <laughs> um, beautiful texture. Wavy. Silky soft. Very smooth. You can do a lot with this hair. You, I am learning to French braid. So, these girls are going to be good practice for me, but I am going to wash out this unsightly, like, what is this? Most of this is smooth, and then this part is crunchy, and then on here, yeah, it's just like the bottom part is, like, really weighed down with hairspray. Hers is all crunched out, but that's okay. Like I said, these dolls are beautiful. I like the fact that, oh, look at her. I just noticed her eyeshadow is gold. I love red and yellow together. It is so pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aren't you beautiful? And I like them because they look like, you know, these little... They're not like 10 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not anorexic looking. They they have curves. They're shapely. Um, Their boobs aren't out to like... <laughs> they're not sticking out too much. They're just beautiful dolls. Oh, I love them so much. I don't even know. <laughs> Um, her outfit looks like something that you actually see girls wear on the street. Uh, I love her shoes. And they do come with two sets of outfits. So I'm going to pull those out right now and show you guys how they look together. Okay, so now we're done. I have unboxed my girls fully. They have all their outfits out. Um, so I guess I will do a little show and tell of their clothes. 
and when I get the other three and the bigger ones, I will update you. I might also get the special edition ones. I think one is named Amaya. I forget the other one's name, but anyway. Um, we'll start with my girl, Skylar. So, she has this cute little shirt that has rainbow on the sides, on the, on the sleeves. And it's nice because it reminds me of something that a racer would wear. She came with this really, really cute blue one piece it's sort of like an overall dress but it's in faux leather and it has a belt and some zippers on it and it's very very cute studs on the um the shoulder sleeves wicked i would absolutely wear this i love it and what's great is these dolls come with fashions and shoes and it's like super inexpensive she has white uh fishnet socks these amazing heels that I would probably bust my ass if I wore them. And what does her shoe say? Oh, it's just the um, item number, I guess, C2020. Ugh, this was a horrible year. No one wants to see 2020 again. <laughs> um, her rubber shoe has the same ticket on it for some reason. Um, very adorable, very well made. And they also have earrings. Hers are half moons. And I just noticed that. But I don't think all the girls have earrings. No, they all don't. So that just makes Skylar even cooler, in my opinion. Very, very pretty dolls. They kind of have that anime eye thing going on. And that's charming, because it looks cartoonish. <laughs> very sweet. Very, very sweet. I love them. Now, I know there's probably going to be moms that are complaining and saying, Oh, these dolls are too sexy. Whatever. You know, eventually, everyone grows up, you know, and the idea of feeling good about yourself is looking good in a lot of ways. You know, whatever you yourself find to look good, you don't have to follow what other people do. But at the same time, don't treat your kids as if they're never going to grow up and as if seeing clothes like this is going to somehow suddenly warp them. That's just ridiculous to me. I can't do it. So that's why this channel wasn't for kids, because... I'm just not kid-centric. So, we looked at her outfit. I forgot to mention that this does come off, her shirt. But it's not actually a shirt. It's more just like, um, it's cut to look like that. But she will not be able to slip this on and wear it. Her secondary outfit is sort of like a rubbery pleather, um, cherry red skirt. I have a coat in this color, actually. <laughs> and she's wearing the same belt. That Skylar has. It is clear and says rainbow on it in gold. She has this really, really great jacket. Her jacket will probably be the easiest to put on because the one that um, Poppy came with, it's it's like difficult to take her arms out of it. Um, it does have sleeve. I mean, the sleeves are sewn to it, but you can cut this thread off. It was just for display purposes on the box. In the back it says rainbow high or rh and then rainbow <laughs> very cute um she has this adorable top which i love i'm not sure which outfit i like better honestly on her <laughs> but this is cute it's a tube top it has a little zipper on the front it is not an active zipper it's just there for accents and these amazing shoes like good god i have sneakers that actually look like this <laughs> So, so adorable. And now Poppy is not wearing her meat outfit, if you want to call it that. We're going to steal that from American Girl. Um, I put her in her second outfit yesterday because I was having so much fun. And I was like, oh, I can't wait until tomorrow to play with them all together. So I'm going to mess around with her clothes. So this is actually a two-piece. Um, she's wearing a skirt that is very, very similar to Ruby's, except that hers is orange. And instead of a zipper, it has um, cord to tighten it where it's sewn. She's wearing a little tube top. Well, not a tube top. What am I saying? <laughs> it's like, um, it sort of is like a bustier, but it's um, leathery and hers is red. So what I like is that they have similar outfits. Hers is actually blue. And um, I did her hair up in braids. And in her hair, there are hints of pink and orange and yellow. Their hair quality is really good. Um, it's mostly 
done really well, but this kind of turned me off just a little bit. But considering what you're getting, everything that you got, and you only paid $25, I'm not going to complain. Um, her original boots are these, which is what made me interested in her to begin with because I like butterflies a lot. So I think that that's amazing. And she's wearing her second pair of shoes, which are even more amazing. I Oh my god, I love these dolls. Holy smokes. And it's cute because you can make them share each other's clothes, which is probably what I'm going to do. Her original dress was this beautiful, iridescent, shimmering, orangey peach. Oh, it's gorgeous. And her second, right here, it's a hoodie. And what's funny is it goes around her head because she has so much hair that the hood would never fit on her anyway. So this just wraps around her head as if she has the hood on. Um, she came wearing this puff jacket. I love the texture of this. And I like the way it, it sounds when you squish it. <laughs> Some unintentional ASMR, but I love the way it sounds. And um, yeah, so I'm very happy with these beautiful girls. And if you haven't collected them and you're considering them, I would give them an A plus rating, not only for quality, but for the amount of product that you get with the doll. It's not just like, okay, this doll by herself wouldn't be worth $26. She'd be worth like maybe $15, $16, maybe even $17. But the fact that she has two outfits, plus a doll stand, plus a comb, um, I would say, yeah, it's worth that amount. Plus, you know, they're made so well. And then for picture purposes, I gave them their own little pony petites. And I think that it's going to look so cute when I photograph them. This one, whoop, this one I'm giving to Skylar. Super adorable. I don't have a red one, but I do have this fuchsia colored one. So she's going to go with Ruby. And they look so cute together. I love my girls. So if you're um, considering purchasing them, I, I would give at least one a try. And if you don't like it, then at least you have a beautiful fashion doll with um, extra clothes. And if you really don't like it, you can always sell it because guaranteed someone will buy it. Okay? Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy your day, Dollykins. I love you all. Bye.